you know, I've been self-employed for almost 20 years, and if you're anything like me, uh, you know, the mind just never shuts off. And I really, at this point in time in my life, I really needed something that was going to help me get to a state of um, just kind of just shut everything off, you know. And uh, so I started to do some research. I started to f find out about different things, uh, you know, particularly like yoga retreats, um, meditation retreats. I looked at centers in India. I could have really went anywhere in the world. And, um, you know, I had signed up online, uh, submitted my information to a few different, you know, um, companies, including One World. And, um, you know, I got an email back and I had a consultation call with one of the doctors and um, Dr. Ninu. And, uh, you know, after that, after that call, um, I kind of made my decision and, you know, I booked my flights and I, I came here. And uh, so I learned uh, about Ayurveda, Ayurvedic treatments and um, programs probably about a week before I came to One World Ayurveda. You know, I wanted to come to a place, and I was kind of worried, actually, that I would have to come here and think. You know, so for me, for, for leaving where I, I had left, you know, I manage employees, I have, you know, um, uh, all of that stuff that goes on as an entrepreneur, you're, you're managing many different hats. I really wanted to come to a place where I didn't need to think, that I could just get up and focus on me and uh, for the first time in my life. and. Um, that was this place, you know, I got here from the day that I got here, I, you know, um, everything was taken care of. There was nothing that I had to do that I had to think about. You know, I don't have to worry about what clothes to put on in the morning because the clothes were provided. And so just small things like that really kind of gave me a, the ability to kind of just be at peace and be at one with myself. And it was very difficult, you know, the first four or five days that I was here was, it was tough. It was challenging because my mind was still going. It was still, still working. Like I gotta check my phone. I gotta get on the computer. I gotta, you know, do this. I gotta do that. And um, but eventually, you start to fall in love with the place. You fall in love with the people, the facility, the setting, the food, the culture. You start to fall in love with that, and you realize that this is how it, this is how it's gonna be, and this is how you know we're we're kind of meant to live is to be at one, you know, at peace. So, I mean, there's just so many benefits, you know, that, that we got out of this and it's just, it's given me a recipe for living now and I'm so grateful for it. It succeeded my wildest kind of expectations. I didn't think that what I had gone through here was completely, something completely, you know, amazing. It was all tailored. That's what I loved about this place, that it was like, Man, if, if there was something that was wrong, they adjusted, like, not five days later, but they adjusted that minute, that second, they would adjust. The staff here has been excellent. Um, the facilities, the rooms, I mean, it's all top-notch. It's all first class. And uh, for me, that was very, very important coming here. I mean, I flew 16, 18 hours, you know, to get here. And, and in fact, I flew my family out after and we've been here for almost two months now, and um, we just fell in love with this with this place, and the the way that um, people embrace you, and the feeling that we get, and we're really sad to leave, but um, we'll be back soon, you know.